What's going on, Macon, Georgia? I uh, do appreciate Senator Rubio for being here today. He, uh, let's, yeah, let's give him a hand. That was a great job. He reminded me he was a University of Florida grad when we were backstage, and he said uh, he was a little concerned he wasn't going to get here. I told him what, there was no doubt. It was going to be fine. We, we, we welcomed you with open arms regardless, but uh, how about them dogs on Saturday? <laughs> The last time I was standing on this stage, it was about a month ago with a, a musical artist named Jason Aldean. And he and I were here to present a check for the hurricane victims. And because we partnered with Donald J. Trump, we raised those hurricane victims $7 billion that night. I always like to say that because the, the media never reported it. But within four days of partnering with the president, we raised $7 million, and it's going to the hurricane victims. And we need to keep our thoughts and prayers of those hurricane victims in there because our state was hit hard. We had a great number of speakers tonight, and I do appreciate uh, our, particularly our Vinter Town speakers Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, didn't she do a great job tonight? <laughs> of course, Senator Rubio, he did a wonderful job. And I want to thank all of our congressional delegation as well as our legislators. Y'all please give them a round of applause, too. They did a great job. You know, earlier this week, I think the Biden-Harris regime referred to us as a bunch of garbage, I believe. Isn't that right? I, I'd tell you what, I, I, I can remember the first, uh, the first, I was a co-chair of the Trump campaign back in 2015. I co-chaired again in 2020, and I remember that first rally that we had here in Macon, Georgia. And it was just as big as it is right now. And I can tell you right now, if this is what they consider garbage, if this is what the Biden administration considers garbage, then I'll take this trash all day long. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll take it all day long, and I'd say put me in, coach, because if I want to go to battle, I want to go to battle with this crowd right here. It is unbelievable, it is unconscionable that there is a party that refers to an entire group of people as garbage, as Nazis, as deplorable, as people who just cling to their guns and Bibles, I believe is what I heard, isn't that right? No, i tell you what we love as Americans, we love cheap groceries, we love cheap gasoline and being energy independent. We love a, we love a closed border and not allow. And we love people to love our country as much as we love our country. Isn't that right? Those are just basic things that you would think that they would want, but they don't. Instead, they want to insult us when we don't agree with them. And they want to tell us that we're not right and that we should pay more at the gas pumps and we should pay more at the grocery stores and we should allow 20 million people unchecked and unvetted into our country and allow them to be citizens, right? But I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick and tired of that. And, and on Tuesday, I, we're going to change the direction of this country. And it's going to be by a man that has a simple message, make America great again. What is that? This race should not even be close. It should not even be close because as we were voting on the issues, uh, Tr President Trump would win in a landslide. But this media crowd that we have back here, the national media crowd we have, they're the absolute worst. They're the absolute worst. They, they have villainized this man for the last 10 years, 
And they have been the reason that there's been two assassination attempts on him. They have, they have been the reason, along with their coastal elites, that he has been prosecuted or attempted to be prosecuted by all these rogue DAs around the country. I know a little something about a rogue DA. I had one in Fulton County that tried to come after me as well. So guess what? I beat her too. So... <laughs> Because the truth will always set you free, and if the truth is on your side, you will, will win. And I want to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This movement, this Make America Great Again movement, you need to take it all in tonight, because you will never see anything like it again. You will never see anything like it again, not in our lifetime. But fortunately, we're going to get to see him four more years in the White House starting Tuesday. So please, please, please go vote. Get your friends to vote. Get your family to vote. I've said it many times. If you don't have a friend, go make one between now and Tuesday. Get them to vote. God bless you. And let's bring on, let's make President Trump 45 to number 47 in this country. God bless you.